Hey everybody, it's Scott Morrison, the Kinetic Ninja here. Um, during the COVID thing, I had an opportunity to clean out my shop, which it really, really desperately needed. I mean, you have no idea how bad it was down here. But throughout the process, I ended up taking out all my tools, spreading them out so I could find new homes for them. And I figured I'd give you guys kind of a tool tour. A um, couple of things, I was a woodworker for a number of years, built houses, built boats, built furniture, so I got a lot of woodworking stuff from that. My grandfather on my mother's side was a car mechanic at one point in time, he did a lot of mechanical kind of things. My grandfather on my father's side did a whole bunch of woodworking, he was a pattern maker for the military. Um, he had to like make wooden versions of cannons extra big so that they could make sand molds and cast them out of metal. Um, my father was a home builder for a number of years, home improvement did that too. So throughout the years, as these gentlemen have passed, I've kind of collected a bunch of their different things and added them to my own collection. So take a look around. Um, I'll kind of show you what we got started off with and how we kind of scattered things. First thing are all the squeezy kind of things, pliers, clippers, needle nose, all that kind of stuff. Nothing too spectacular in there. My grandfather's clippers going from there. My favorites are the uh, Japanese style scissors. I like those a little bit more. I found an awful lot of Allen wrenches, a ton of those things. I, I'll have to organize them a little bit better. And like I said, mechanically, I got a lot of wrenches. I got this monster socket head. That must be like inch and a half up there. I don't know what they needed that for, but somebody had it in their collection and I acquired it. This whole row is a uh, standard SAE, this is metric, and this is all of the extras, spares, or oddities that were found. And uh, a whole bunch of wrenches floating around. Most of these did come from my grandfather on my mother's side. Again, as an auto mechanic, I'm pretty certain he bent that wrench to fit around an oil filter or something. But he, he was kind of a practical guy. He was not against like throwing a torch on something and bending it so he could get to where he needed to get to with that particular item. Tons more wrenches. Collected a bunch of those. A, a monkey wrench or two. A bunch of scrapers. Apparently I am a little bit obsessive about files. I've got all sorts of different sizes, shapes, rasp cuts, and all that kind of stuff. These are actually Japanese saw files. They're extremely thin. Designed for that kind of thing. Um, just a couple of scrapers. All that kind of stuff couple of bench grinders. I have them on stands, provided again from my grandfather. I got my little metal work, working vise down there and another 75 pound like monster vise. I just dug this out of the dust and storage area, added that base to it, came off of an old little tiny table saw. Can't wait to put that beast to use. Up on top I got all of my kind of supplies and some storage. I got some extra aluminum. Now that piece of plywood on the back, that long run right there, that is actually the basis of a 16-foot sea kayak. Uh, it's a stitch and glue process, one of my many projects that I've started and need to finish up at some point in time. Router bits, some DeWalt drills and tools and stuff. Got my full bit cabinet for my little drill press over there. Right below it I got my welder and compressor number one. And then like over here is where the table saw and compressor number two lives. That compressor again came from my grandfather on my mother's side. Uh, used it to paint different furniture. A couple of little cutoff tools, my metal cutoff and then my wood cutoff, chop saw kind of thing. Uh, that kind of takes care of this room pretty much. Clean up tools and another vise. That's the drill press vise. That's all good. I like my vices. You'll notice down there I got a couple of hunks of railroad track, the big gauge and the small gauge. Uh, at some point in time I might make a vise out of that. That little red canister is actually a little furnace I can heat up metal if need be make knives, do a little bit of forging. That was my grandfather's acetylene torch. I'm uh, afraid the hoses are a little dry rotted, so can't quite use those at this point in time. Uh, another thing apparently I'm fairly uh, obsessed about are taps and dies. This is a whole tap and die set, a whole bunch of different things going on there. Um, this is, again, from my grandfather. Uh, the bigger, oh this one. This one. This whole unit, it's, uh, I have never actually used it to cut threads, but those little dies fit in there and they go around the pipe. Love this pipe cutter. If you guys can find one of those, I use it on even my big red bar on my uh, key clamp system. These though are standard Harbor Freight kind of thing. I can thread pipe if need be all the way up to the two and a half inch or the two inch pipe, which is, we use the inch and a half at our place so I can add threads in those. That's pretty much the only one that's been used. 
a bunch of other sizes, other scatterings. These down here are actually designed for wood threads. So I can cut threads into wood. All, a bunch of hammers that I got kind of gathered up around there. Um, over on my big long wooden workbench, which I absolutely love. I built that thing a number of years ago. Uh, nothing much. Cutting tools. These are three knives that I have made. Um, different stages. None of them are finished. Uh, they're not really the best metal and, and I was just kind of playing around with learning how to grind and that kind of stuff. I do have some timber framing chisels there and then got a gouge and a corner mortising chisel again from my grandfather. Another great big old metal vise. Love my vices and you'll notice this is kind of my I don't know, I could say it's a trophy wall per se. It's got a couple of interesting things and little tidbits. Um, this knife right there is the very first one I ever made. And uh, those are my ninja climbing claws. My uncle welded those up for me probably when I was, I don't know, 13, 14. But you would strap those into your hands and then you could climb up trees and brick and all that kind of stuff. They still kind of work. I'll have to get them out and try them sometime. Um, that'd be kind of fun but I got a great big saw cross cut saw a bunch of other hand saws my uh, little grinding mechanism a hollow chisel mortiser a couple of hand mortiser or hand cut saws miter boxes rather a band saw drill guide there's actually a little lathe over there a couple of guides for different stuff um, up top you'll notice all of those heads those are solid wood. Those were carved from my grandfather, or carved by my grandfather on my father's side. That one right there is actually to kind of characterize my father, who was a great golfer. And I got a whole bunch of different bits and braces. Um, a couple of my tools over here. I got a bunch of sanders and that kind of thing. But up top, I wanted to kind of show you. Here's my woodwork and chisels. Super proud, all those kind of things. I used to do a lot of that kind of stuff couple of saws underneath all that. Um, again, another shot of the workbench. And let's see over here, what else we got? Oh, all my screwdrivers. Flat blade, square, Phillips, Torx, uh, nut drivers, pokey things like scratch awls and, of course, the micro set. And, of course, throughout the shop in multiple areas, I've got bunches of different hardware pieces and clamps you can never have too many of those stuck over here again up got a bunch of wood planes on there and a whole bunch of hardware and other random assorted stuff ready to build projects and of course over here is even more stuff to build obstacles with this whole bucket is all just scrap metal the rest of it i think i can probably use or cut and get some stuff out of it's a little bit higher grade on that kind of thing but uh, <clears throat> this kind of gives you a little rundown into my dungeon and where most of the obstacles that we have built at Kinetic Ninja Warrior have spent some time. Um, more supplies and materials out here. That's all the materials I use to make the handholds. Stuff that we put out. You might even see a prototype or anything up there. That's super cool. And uh, of course, for fun time, we gotta have a little bit of dartboard action. But beyond that, this is kind of where I put everything together, make it all happen. Hope you guys have enjoyed the tour. Um, there's a story behind each and every tool of some point in time when I used it to connect to those individuals that really meant a lot to me. My father, um, both my grandfathers, uh, I connected with them while we did work together, and so each time I pick up a tool, I kind of get a little bit of that back. Anyway, stay safe, wash your hands, see you soon.